Adopt Me Pets in Real Life. I'll be showing you some of Adopt Me's rarest pets, such as a Shadow Dragon, Bat Dragon, Frost Dragons, and more in real life. But first, comment down below your dream pet for a chance of getting it for free. This is Adopt Me's rarest pet in real life. Wait, that's just a cat. And uh, those, those are my cats. So, uh, next pet. This is the Bat Dragon, my favorite pet to exist in Adopt Me. Let's use an AI to generate artwork based on what it thinks this would actually look like if it was a real dragon. Okay, so apparently it takes a little time to go and start to develop the actual image, and every single time that I go and re-click on it, it will become more realistic. Um, as you can see, it's actually starting to come to life. This is meant to be a bat dragon from Adopt Me in real life. So the longer this goes on for, the more realistic this will get. Theoretically. I mean, it does look like a realistic bat dragon from Adopt Me, I think. Sure, there we go. That's actually not really a bad look of a realistic adopt me bat dragon that's kind of cool i think the one in the top right kind of actually looks like a realistic bat dragon which is really interesting we're gonna try this again but this time with a background of an island i requested it to be on a floating island since adopt me is kind of in the sky which is why you always fall off the thing every single time i click on it it kind of just looks better and better I might take my statement back now. Actually, these all look pretty cool. And this is what we just got. Alright, does it look like a bat dragon from Adopt Me? Yeah, it has all of the characteristics of the bat dragon. It has the same color scheme, it has the same style wings, and the same dragonness. I mean, yeah, this one has a wing coming out of its ear, and it's a bit pixelated, but the concept is actually there, which is how this is actually really interesting. This time, we're gonna try an experiment. This is a photo created by Adopt Me by an actual artist. So what I'm gonna go and do is actually copy this image and try and make this become realistic. So to get this to work, I've gone and implemented my photo and also stated that we want a realistic pheasant and a badger reading a book in a brown library with other animals looking at the books, then stated what we also want it to include. Okay, this is what it's gone and started to create so far. Uh, just looks like a brown mess. I'm really gonna be intrigued what this looks like. Okay, this is actually looking interesting. Yeah, there is the, the two animals reading a book, I guess. Wow, this actually is starting to look like the thing but in real life i am actually amazed i mean the animals kind of look ugly and don't make sense okay so this is the image that we gave the ai to replicate there is a badger and a pheasant reading a book and what it gave me is this there is the badger and there is a i don't know what that is <laughs> i don't know but it looks interesting it's reading a book and um, yeah, this one kind of looks like a pheasant and this one looks like a badger mixed with a pheasant, but it has given us exactly what we were after, but just realistic, which is kind of crazy to see. I mean, they're both reading a book. They're both in a library. I can't believe that this is the realistic version of what Adopt Me would be. Like, this is kind of kind of crazy how like effective this is right like this is genuinely an amazing thing that it has just created based off of this photo which is kind of insane that that's even possible now this one is going to be very interesting the strawberry shortcake bat dragon in real life what we need the ai to do is include whipped cream uh candy cane wings obviously strawberries since the whole theme of this is strawberries we need it to be red and feature these exact same color scheme and have a strawberry on its tail do you think the ai will be able to recreate it let's find out this is supposedly a strawberry shortcake bat dragon from Adopt Me in real life. Okay, this is starting to look how I'm imagining it would actually look. Oh, this one's eating a cupcake. This one's on a strawberry. Whoa, hello. Okay, this one looks actually out of a nightmare. This one looks kind of one I'd imagine. And this one looks like it's eating a pumpkin. Where's the strawberries? 
These are the results. Let's have a look. The top one is eating a cupcake, which is great. This one is on a strawberry and looks extremely terrifying. This one is eating a strawberry on a pumpkin and kind of looks the most similar. And this one looks like an old ancient dragon eating a box of strawberries which are all spiked. And I mean, it literally looks exactly how I was imagining a real strawberry shortcake bat dragon to look like from Adopt Me, which is kind of insane that it can replicate exactly what I wanted it to look like, like in a minute or so, which is crazy, right? So I've just gone and asked it to go and redesign some Robux for me, and this is gonna be interesting. How will it redesign it? Okay, so far it is making my Robux look very strange. I, the one in the bottom actually just looks like Robux in real life, and the other ones are slightly different, I guess. Yeah, the one in the bottom left kind of looks like a beehive or something. This is the end result of uh, the AI recreating Robux, but realistically. So this one kind of looks real. This just, they, ju they just look like a bunch of coins with hexagons in, which realistically is what Robux is to be honest. So it didn't really fail us. It just doesn't look as great as I planned it to. This right here is the school in Adopt Me, and this is what a realistic version of the school, if it was made in real life, would look like. I've just asked the robot to go and recreate the same thing but more realistically. And the results might interest you. Here we go, here is the outcome it's created. They're all pretty interesting, right? So how did I create this thumbnail? Well, the AI can't actually replicate what I was wanting exactly. So I actually went and did this manually. That's right, this place doesn't exist. I had to invent it, okay? This place I invented. We got two houses, changed the colors, added the little stripes in manually, photoshopped a bone in for the nursery and also wrote the word nursery giantly. And this is what it would look like if it was in real life. I think it would be a pretty cool building and definitely a place that I would visit. What I've just requested is a realistic frost dragon from Adopt Me. Let's check on its progress. Wow, this thing's definitely gonna look terrifying, but I'm all up for it. Yep, definitely gonna give some people nightmares, but it's gonna look sick. Okay, I kind of like all of them. I mean, this one has two heads though. This is what it thinks a frost dragon from Adopt Me looks like in real life. That is insane. I mean, look how detailed these things are. It replicates everything that a frost dragon has from Adopt Me, from the frostiness, the colors, the horns, and the spikes. This thing literally looks how a frost dragon would look in real life, which is crazy how good this is, right? Like, this is so well made. Honestly, I'm shocked. So here's the Adopt Me Frost Dragon. And these are the ones that it has created. Let me know, what do you prefer, Adopt Me or real life? Obviously, these don't fly around in real life. This was created by a robot. All right, let's check out what this is and see if you guys can guess what is gonna happen. All right, do any of you guys recognize what this is yet? If so, let me know, cause this is gonna be interesting. This is actually starting to look kind of crazy, right? Like, what is this? I kind of love it, but it's also kind of creepy. All right, and the end result is this. Obviously, it has uh, its imperfections, such as this animal having two legs, the same as this one. Whatever this is coming out of an egg, pretty cool. I mean, there's two eggs going on here. So what I was trying to get it to replicate was this. It kind of did an okay job, right? So we had to get all of these animals coming out of an egg from Adopt Me, but realistic and we got this. I mean, as you can see, it's very different. Obviously, this is a different style. There's only one small egg in this picture and they're kind of all jumping out, but maybe I wasn't specific enough, but I guess we now uh, know what all of these little animals coming out of a little egg look like, which is kind of funny. And the one in the bottom right kind of looks pretty awesome. I do like the look of this one, actually. Thank you for watching, comment down below your dream pet, and what video I should do next. Click this video here to see me investigate Adopt Me Hackers who must get stopped and how I got my dream pet.